All right, so here we're going to examine translations in GeoGebra. So uh, quadrilaterals are already made, and then they want me to do the vector at 10, 1 to 16, 2. So I'm going to come down here. Uh, the third icon, if you go down near the bottom, it says vector. So it says start at 10, 1, and then go over to 16, 2. The next thing it says we're going to translate by vector. Now that can be found in the third to last icon. This is all our transformations. And near the bottom is one that says translate by vector. So I click on that. If I'm not sure what to do, I can just hover over. And normally some instructions will come with it. Uh, but what I do with the translation is I highlight. I, I'm just clicking and dragging the object I want to translate. And then I can click on the vector for which I want to translate it. And as you can see, this creates uh, the image from my pre-image. So the new one, the translated figure is the image. The original is called the pre-image. So now I can actually do some exploration seeing what's going on. So if I move my pre-image, any of these points, I see that my point A is shifting the same way. If I did that for D, I'd see the same thing happens for D. Now, why is it doing this? What happens if I change my vector? Well, first thing, let's look at why is it doing it. So if I take my vector and I drag it over here, and I place it from B to B prime, from A to A prime, from D to D prime, or from C to C prime, you notice it is that exact vector that translates me from the pre-image point to the image point. And that's because the entire coordinate plane is being translated by that vector. And we just focus on these very specific points as to what we want to mark. So if I change my vector, so here we were at 10, 1, 16, 2. If I change my point for F, I can see that it translates and shifts my, um, my image in the same distance and direction. So now if I took my vector back over here, it would still hold true. So however I look at my vector, in this case, it is saying that a point is to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, four units up and four units to the right. Say I shift my vector and now it is two units to the right and one unit down. Or maybe four units to the right and two units down. So I'd be looking at that as x plus four comma y minus two. So the translation is sheer is just taking and creating a congruent object that's then being translated based on that vector.